अस्सलाम वालेकुम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज़ लाइट इन द नाइट दिस इज़ बेसिकली अ हिस्टोरिकल स्टोरी बिकॉज इट हाई लाइट्स द हिस्ट्री ऑफ स्ट्रीट लैम्प्स ओके एंड दिस स्टोरी कंपेयर्स आर लाइफ विद द लाइफ ऑफ द पीपल लिव्ड बिफोर सेवनटीन हंड्रेड्स बिकॉज इन दोज टाइम्स पीपल डिड नॉट हैव एनी लाइट्स दे वुड सोशलाइज अंडर मून लिट or uh, uh and after that uh, it is about how street lamps were installed and how they progressed so let's begin with the reading london is a major capital city at night it glows brightly like most modern cities so, uh, this story is about london okay uh, which is the capital city of the united kingdom Before the 1700s London was much smaller than it is now on cloudless moonlit nights people would take advantage of the moonlight and go out to socialize socialize means uh, they used to uh, interact uh, under moonlight but night time in the city could be dangerous you could trip trip means uh, you can uh, take a misstep fall and injure yourself why because there was no light at that time and there was only uh, the source of light was uh, moon if you fell in the river you could drown you could be attacked or robbed by criminals who roamed the streets you could easily get lost if people wanted to go out at night they would have to carry a burning torch or lamp or if they were rich enough pay someone else to carry it so people uh, had to carry uh, uh, the torch um, the uh, or a lamp okay if they had to go out at night Uh, there were many link boys who would for a small fee hold a burning torch or lamp ahead of people so that they could see the way through the dark streets so um, link boys uh, in those times link boys were um, uh, they were boys who were uh, hired by the people okay to carry the torch or the flaming light some of these link boys were dishonest and would rob the people who had employed them and then r- run off and leave them in the dark By the early 1700s busy cities like London and Paris had street lamps in some areas so street street lamps were not you know available uh, uh, early uh, early 1700s okay in Paris which had street lamps before London okay in Paris which had street lamps London had uh, had their street lamps uh, after Uh, Paris the first street lamps were actually lights placed in the windows of houses so first street lamps were uh, the lights that were placed in the windows police enforced a law that that said every house had to have a lamp burning in the window all night long so they um, enforced a law enforce mean to to make it happen so police made it happen to, uh, that every house should have a street lamp uh, in their window and uh, that will burn all night long in the lamp went out sorry if the lamp went out went out means if um, it faint or die people would have to get up to relight it or face being uh, fine so uh the enforcer law that every house must have a street lamp that would uh, you know burn all day uh, all night long and if that lamp uh, uh, went out so people would uh, have to uh, give fine so uh, this this was your uh, their duty to relight the lamp if it uh, goes off some people started to offer their services as lamp lighters in return for payment lamp lighters would put up a lamp outside the house and make sure it was lit the street lamps reassured people and made them feel safer the uh, the authorities realized the benefits they they brought and took over the installation and maintenance of them
all over europe the use of lamp uh, post grew in the 1700s london grew rapidly and became the world's center of trade manufacturing and fashion business became important and lights were needed to keep the city working and entertaining in the light uh, in the night so once the london uh, started progressing they needed uh, the light okay by the late 1700s london had so many street lamps that visitors uh, to the city were amazed by them the lamps were fueled by wax or oil that gave off an unpleasant smell and often dripped many people were employed as lamp lighters because each lamp had to be lit by hand every evening one german tourist visiting london in the 1700 uh, wrote in his diary as it was quite dark when i came back the first evening i was astonished at the admirable manner in which the streets are lighted up the bright lamps made the city seem exciting and lively the lamps are so near each other that even on the most ordinary in common nights the city has the appearance of a festive illumination so um, uh, there came a time when london was so uh, much populated with all the street lamps the lamp lighters quickly became an important and valued part of society this was because they often became a key figure in their communities they would walk the same route twice a day and as they checked cleaned fixed lit or put out the lights they would notice what was going on around them many lamp lighters helped to make their routes safer their job required energy strength agility and reliability agility means ability to move quickly they had to keep the lights clean make sure the wicks were trimmed to the right length a uh, trimmed mean uh, uh, they were adjusted light uh, tens of lamps in the evening and put them all out again in the morning many lamp lighters were pleased to be guardians in their communities and often the job would be passed on from parent to child so the lamp posts of london were designed with the bars sticking out on either side at the top so that the lamp lighter could safely rest his ladder on them lamp lighters moved quickly carrying their ladder and going up and down it hundreds of times a day this this was the ladder they had to uh, keep this ladder with them and they had to you know uh, let the lamp The lamp posts were decorated with the royal crest and were looked after carefully by the lamp lighters. So, a uh, royal crest, uh, 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 all the posts where there were uh, uh, lamps, they were decorated with royal crest. Uh, sorry, um, this crest is uh, it is a design used as a symbol of a high social class. Okay, so they all were decorated with a high social uh, crest. When gas lamps started to be used from 1805 onwards they changed the work of the lamp lighters the gas lamps were much quicker so uh, first there were uh, the lamps street lamps uh, which were uh, you know lit by gas uh, sorry uh, wax and oil uh, after that there were gas lamps uh, gas lamps uh, took after there Uh, place the gas lamps were much quicker to light and did not require lots of the work like the oil lamps such as changing the smelly oil and replacing and trimming wicks because people uh, the gas lamps were much quicker to light and didn't require lots of the work like the oil lamps such as changing the smelly oil and replacing and trimming wicks some of the lamp lighters felt their job wasn't the same anymore because they had only this job uh, to stand at night Uh, uh to let the lamps once uh, uh gas lamps uh, uh took the place they they felt their that their um, their job is not the same 
Charles Dickens captured this feeling in the story The Lamplighters when one chapter a uh, character talks about the change from oil to gas lamps I foresee in this the breaking up of our profession so they are um, actually talking about their jobs there is no more going the rounds to trim by daylight no more dribbling down of the oil on the hats and bonnets of ladies and gentlemen when one feels in spirits any low fellow can light a gas lamp so street lamps uh, can't be lit by everyone but gas lamps can be lit by any uh, any person gas lamps were better than oil lamps in many ways although a big issue with them was that every now and again one would blow up over time gas lamps replaced oil lamps later with the invention of electricity gas lamps were replaced by the electric lamps which now dominate modern streets so these are the lamps that are still uh, now used in the in the world wide today there are still 1500 gas lamps in london five people are employed to operate them they they light them every evening and put them out every morning these lights are carefully looked after because they are part of the city's history kensington palace gardens is the name of a long avenue in london it is lined with grand old buildings and is lit entirely by by gas lamps there you can imagine what it would have been like in london during the time of charles dickens so uh, some street lamps uh, almost around about 1500 gas uh, lamps or street lamps are still uh, lit in the in the palace gardens okay so this is it this is this was the history of street lamps